Welcome back. So now that we understand what's happening behind division, we can take a look at how we write and solve these sums. So we're going to take a look at these three different types of short division sums over the next three videos. So first up, let's take a look at this one. Before we start, we're going to be doing a lot of skip counting in these next three videos, so you might want to pause the video and get your multiplication square just in case. You ready? Okay, let's go. Let's take a look at our first sum. 396 divided by 3. Now I know what you're thinking, that doesn't look like a short division sum as it is. Well, there are actually four different ways of writing division sums. And this is one way. So all we're going to do here is we're going to rewrite this sum into the short division bus stop way that we're familiar with. So when we do that, it's going to look like this. So what have we got here? Okay, well, you remember from the last video, we talked about a chocolate factory and chocolate bars and sending them out to different shops. So in this case, at the end of the day, I have 396 chocolate bars to share between three different shops. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's start with our boxes of 100. And at the end of today, I have three boxes of 100. Three hundreds. So if we have three boxes of 100, we're dividing it between three shops. We say three divided by three equals one. Well, how did I get that one? Well, I skip counted up in threes until I reached the number I was looking for. So let's try that strategy again with the tens, the multi-pack of tens. So at the end of the day, I had nine packets of ten. Nine tens. So nine divided by three. Well, let's skip count up in threes and see how many we get. So we're going to go 3, 6, 9. So how many lots of 3 are there in 9? Well, that's right. There's 1, 2, 3. 3 lots of 3 in 9. And if you know your times tables, this is very, very simple because 3 times 3 equals 9. So we just answered the division sum, so we better put that answer up top. So pop in the 3 there. So now we've dealt with the hundreds and we've dealt with the tens. So finally, we have to look at the units, or the single chocolate bars. So we have six individual chocolate bars, or six units, left to divide between three shops. So let's skip count up again. Three, six. So our answer is two. Two lots of three in six. And again, if you know your times tables, three times two equals 6. So what's our answer? Well we had 396 chocolate bars to share between three shops and they're going to get 132 chocolate bars each. Right great work okay so now I want you to try answer a couple of sums yourself. Pause the video when I tell you to and when you finish the sums I'll put the answers up on the screen so you can check them yourself. Okay you ready to pause? Okay, pause now. All finished? You sure? Yeah? Okay, well here come the answers. So how'd you do? If you're ready to move on, click on to the next video, where we'll look at a different type of short division sum. If you need to rewatch the video, that's perfectly okay. So I'll see you soon, wherever you end up.